Hi and welcome to the Freelance Channel. My name is Florante. Today's video, we're going to have a quick look at Eon's latest mobile app, and that's the Union Bank app. Now, for those freelancers like you who've been using Eon, probably you already know that they're phasing out the old one and they're going to change it. They have already changed it actually to the Eon Cyber account. And in line with that, the new app offering is really a great one. So today, we're going to have a quick look and there are some, about five things that I really wanted you to see, which is really a game changer for this app, which is really a good features, good security and stuff like that. So for us to get started, let's go ahead. I'll go and open up my phone. And you see in there, there are actually two apps from Union Bank. That the first one is the Eon, which has that red, white, and purple color. And the other one is the Union Bank. Now, for those who are making use of Eon Cyber account, you can make use of either of the two. But for me, I'm actually preferring the Union Bank app. So that's what we're going to look into right now. Now, first thing that you will notice is that when you open, since right here, you will see that I have already uh, updated this one and I have already signed in and added an account but you will notice first of all is that there is already this custom avatar that's the first thing that you will notice and at the same time you will also notice that there's already the option to make use of your fingerprint so touch ID and you can just tap and your login so that's really great you know that's one of the things that's really making this a lot more convenient to use. So out of the five things that I'm going to discuss with you, the first one is the custom avatar. And as I have told you earlier, when I showed you the first window that we opened up, there's already the custom image that I have. And if you're wondering how you can update the custom avatar, all you need to do is to tap on more that's the one on the lower right hand corner the one that has the three dots some sort of an ellipsis and then what you need to do is to go to the settings so tap on settings then tap on profile okay from here you can tap on change photo and you can just go ahead either if you're going to uh, grab a selfie or you can upload an existing photo on your mobile phone and you can just upload and it will automatically crop it to your preferred dimension okay so that's it so after the avatar let's go ahead and have a quick look at the transfer option now you can find it on the second tab at the bottom and transfer funds previously you are able to transfer funds from your union bank to another union bank account or the Eon account but today this time they've actually upped the game and they're offering the transfer funds option so that you can transfer to any bank account or to any bank and if you tap on other banks via PesoNet you will see that I believe almost all banks in the Philippines are already supported so we have here the uh, Philippine National Bank RCBC Security Bank Metro Bank and BDO everything's in there now there are a couple of things that you need to consider if you would like to transfer funds from your Union Bank account to the other banks first of all it's not going to be an instant transfer so it's not going to be real-time crediting they have a two to three days two to three banking days uh, processing time before the money is credited to your recipient bank so if you're rushing things if you wanted to get those funds right away to your other bank account then this is probably not the best one to use but definitely this is still going to be a game changer it's still going to save you a lot of time especially if you still have to commute and you know line through the banks the ability to transfer from your mobile phone to your bank account it's really going to save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle now the next thing that I would like for you to see is that 
if you go to oops, let me go back if you go to pay bills you will see that select biller since since I don't have any enrolled billers right now I'm taken to the biller list and for those who are making use of e-wallets like PayMaya, well, the good news is you can already transfer Union Bank funds to your PayMaya account. So if you tap on the search icon and just type in PayMaya, you will see that you can transfer funds or you can cash in to your PayMaya account right from your mobile phone right from the Union Bank app so that's another good thing because as you've seen in my previous videos I've been posting a lot about e-wallets like PayMaya and Gcash so this is one of the things that's going to be very useful for me too okay so the next thing that we're going to have a look at is probably the most important feature of this new app from Union Bank and that is no less than generate OTP now this is a security feature it's more like a second level of security for your account so that even if they know the password or even if they're able to log in you're still protected because if they don't have the OTP they still won't be able to access your account so that's a good thing that's the good side to it so you just have to tap on generate OTP and there are two options that you can generate OTP and you can choose that either if you prefer to receive via SMS or call or the other one is the one-time password generated by your mobile phone itself so if you want to choose you can go to settings and then login and security and then down here manage one-time password that's the one that you're looking for and then you can go ahead and choose your preference so right now it's the current mode is SMS or call I'll go ahead and tap on that one and I'll make use of OTP generator I'll go ahead and tap on save okay now the good thing with this one is it's not only the login where you can set the OTP you can also set it to authenticate um, login and at the same time even if you have made use of the touch ID you can also have the option to still enable OTP now for fund transfers bills payments and purchases that's also an option and I think that's one thing that you should turn on so you can turn that on so I'll for bills payment and fund transfers and then you can just tap on save all right so I can go to dashboard okay and the final feature that I'm going to show you is the ability to check on your balance a quick check on your balance so what you need to do again go to more then settings and then quick balance so you can disable or you can enable or disable quick balance so let me go ahead and tap on enable and tap yes and then it will choose which account and I'll require OTP oh I'll require fingerprint before allowing to view quick balance no go back I'll go ahead and log out now you will see that there's now another option available for me which is quick balance so if I tap on quick balance I'm prompted for my touch ID or fingerprint and there you go no need for me to really totally open the app I just need to check on the balance that's pretty quick so no need to log in and open the app itself alright so those are some of the features that's awaiting you if you haven't downloaded the Union Bank app and feel free to leave any comments or questions if you have 
and let me know what app are you using for your banking are you making use of Union Bank or are you making use of BDO or Metro Bank feel free to share your comments and your experience which one has been working for you which one you think is worth recommending uh, for me as of now I think Union Bank has an upper hand with this one so I'll leave the decision to you and I'll see your recommendations in the comments thank you so much for watching and have a great day